Hey Aries, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. I hope you guys are doing well. This is your general love reading for May 2021 for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If you want a personal love reading, the link is in the description box. You can also head over to my Etsy shop, favorite my shop. I have my personal readings there, my Oracle, Tarot decks, and my spiritual jewelry. Connect with me on Instagram and Facebook. Um, all right, so your bonus reading is also on Vimeo, okay? That's from May 10th through the 20th. How does your person feel? What are they not saying? What are they not revealing? How do they view you and how do they want to move forward, okay? All that. All right, let's jump right in. I'm going to start off with the Unrevealed. This is one of my decks on my Etsy shop. You guys have seen this before. Let's see what are the person that you're dealing with. What are their thoughts and secrets, okay? Doing things a little different today. What are their person's thoughts and secrets? So I'm going to pull these cards and then I'm going to clarify them, okay? All right, clear messages. Again, this is the unrevealed deck and it's on my Etsy shop for those of you guys who are interested, okay? All right, we have help me love you better, okay? Help me love you better. So we're going to clarify what that's about. We have please wait for me. Please wait for me. So this could be someone that you are in separation from right now. Oops. We have you occupy every thought. So we're going to find out what are they thinking about you with regard to um, the situation. What are they thinking about you right now if you're on their mind? This break is hard for me. So say so yes. Yeah, some of you guys are definitely on a break. Okay. You're on some kind of break or separation from this person. All right. Let's jump right in. Okay. I'm going to get to the light Sears tarot today, okay? All right, so help me love you better. Let's find out what that's about. Help me love you better. Why is this person saying help me love you better? What's going on? Clear messages, please, for Aries. So this is someone who broke your heart, Aries, okay? This is someone who um, let you down big time because it caused you a lot of emotional pain. Now, some of you guys, they could have put you in a third-party situation, but I feel a lot of you guys, you've been struggling to move forward from this situation because there's, some, there's a lot of pain here. There's a lot of hurt. And I feel a lot of you guys, they could have hurt you because they weren't ready to love you. They were not ready to give everything to the connection. So a lot of you guys, you came available, open, ready to love, and they didn't. Some of you guys, you feel like this person manipulated you, okay? Because they weren't ready to love. They deceived you in some way. This is someone who, you know, you could have really thought that, you know, they cared about you. Um, And it's not that they didn't. It's telling me that they could have wore a false mask with this magician. They could have been a trickster, okay? This is someone who could have sabotaged something, okay? They could have sabotaged a really good thing. So your person is now saying, help me love you better. I know I really caused a lot of pain. I know I hurt you deeply. Um, help me love you better because I don't know how to love. I, I suck at it. That's the energy here. Let's get some more. Oh, more messages. King of Swords came out in the verse. Some of you guys are dealing with a Gemini, a Libra, or Aquarius. And we have the Ten of Cups. So your person, it's like they saw happiness with you. They saw you as someone that they could be fulfilled with, okay? You made them smile, okay? You definitely light up their face, okay? They, they definitely think very positive, good things about you. But the thing is, is that this person didn't show it. This is someone who could have all of a sudden went cold on you. They could have ghosted. They could have silenced you. They could have ran away. This king of swords in reverse, they're pretty brutal, okay? This is someone who is not in touch with their feelings and emotions. And so they can hurt people, right? And so you're dealing with someone who was very cold, very arrogant, um, could have been very nasty in the way they treated you, okay? And again, a lot of you guys... There was a lot of happiness here at one point. This is definitely someone you saw as your person. Um, you thought that you'd have a future with them. But I think a lot of you guys, all of a sudden, they, they just snapped back or they took a step back. They weren't ready for this, this connection that you guys had. All right, we also have the death and rebirth. So your person may not be saying this, okay, but they do want a new beginning. This is someone who, you know, something could have happened very abruptly, 
with the King of Swords in verse. And this is someone who you've experienced some kind of ending with, but they do want some kind of resurrection. They're not really happy with how they treated you, with the direction of which this connection um, is going right now. And this is someone who is not entirely fulfilled with this ending. Okay, so let's see what we have with please wait for me. Why is this person saying please wait for me? So we have a guarded energy. So this is someone who feels like they want you to wait for them because right now they're not ready, right? The four pentacles is someone who's very guarded. They're blocked. They're not really letting you in. This is someone who doesn't want to open up just yet. They may be working on themselves. Now, some of you guys, they're not working on themselves at all, right? But majority of you guys, they're still in this guarded energy. So they're saying, I'm not ready yet. OK, but I want you to wait for me because right now, you know, I'm still in this energy where I can't open up. I can't give you the love that I, uh, I want to give you. Some of you guys, they could be holding on to a past situation or a person. We do got the Queen of Pentacles. Some of you guys, the Queen of Pentacles could be um, someone that they're in some kind of commitment with. It could be a third party. It could be someone that they have some kind of financial uh, codependence situation with now. Others of you guys, we do have please wait for me with the Queen of Pentacles, and this is, can be read separately. Now, I feel a lot of you guys, they certainly saw you as the Queen of Pentacles. They saw you as someone that they can live a very stable, fruitful life. They saw you as someone who brought a lot, okay, to the relationship. They saw you as someone that they can trust. You are honest, you are open, you are fair. They saw you as someone that they could perhaps... Okay, be in a marriage with. They they thought about commitment. They saw you as someone they can settle down with. They saw you as wifey, husband material. But the problem is that they weren't ready. Okay, they weren't ready. So they're saying, please wait for me. I'm not there yet. Um, some of you guys, again, they can't let go of another situation or they're in some kind of relationship that they can't get out of just yet. So that could be causing the block. We do have the high priestess, so a lot of you guys, you may intuitively be um, tapping into your person's energy. A lot of you guys, you may be in a dream state connecting with your person in a 5D dimension. That high priestess is a very strong intuition. So a lot of you guys, you know that your person wants you to wait for them. Now, whether you want to wait for them or not, that's up to you. But a lot of you guys already know how this person feels and that this isn't what they wanted, right? They didn't mean to break your heart. They didn't want this ending here. Let's see, what other messages do we have with the please wait for me? We have the seven of swords and verse in a tower. See, a lot of you guys, your person may be going through this tower moment right now as we speak. This tower moment could be a sudden, uh, it could be a wake up call. It could be a disaster, chaos, drama. And a lot of you guys, it may be also causing some kind of awakening within your person where they're saying, you know what? Right now, I'm going through a lot. I know I have a lot of work to do on myself, a lot of lessons to learn, but please wait for me. I'm not ready yet. I'm trying to do better. The seven of swords and reverse your person may have certainly lied, cheated, deceived you, right? But this is the energy of them wanting to clear the air, them wanting to right their wrongs with you, them wanting to make things better. So they're saying, please wait for me. I do want to do better, but right now I'm going through a tower moment, which they could have caused. All right. So let's see what this is. We have you occupy every thought. OK, you occupy every thought. Let's see what they're thinking about. Right. What what thoughts are on Aries person's mind? You occupy every thought. What thoughts? The nine of cups, <laughs> the world in reverse. See, your person is realizing how happy and fulfilled you made them. This is someone who's realizing that you were just a blessing to them, right? This is someone who would smile. Even if they didn't show it, they smiled and they were just so happy to be around you. You kept them satisfied in every way, emotionally, sexually. You made them content. You made them happy. Um, and that that is what's occupying them, right? They're thinking about how great you were of a person. The world in reverse is also them feeling as if, well, wow, things 
things are just out of control, right? Whatever I did, um, I'm just, I'm trying to do better. I'm trying to get my life back together, the emperor. I'm, I'm trying to take control of my life, but I feel lost right now, okay? Um, I feel like things haven't moved in the right direction. I know I haven't been too kind to you, and they may feel like something is out of their control right now. So a lot of you guys, they may not be able to come towards you because that world is in reverse, right? It's beyond their own control right now. We also have the Queen of Wands in reverse, so that's their energy. I mean, that's your energy. I'm sorry, Aries. This is your energy, Queen of Wands in reverse. Some of you guys, what they're also thinking about is that they know they didn't bring you the stability, the commitment, okay, that you were looking for. That Queen of Wands, you know, she deserves, he or she doesn't matter. You deserve the cream of the crop, right? And they didn't give you that. They, they didn't present you with a solid offer. They didn't treat you or give you um, priority, right? And I think a lot of you guys, they now are looking at you taking a step back. They now see you hesitating and having doubts and fears about them, um, about them being able to perform, being able to come towards you. This Knight of Pentacles, they may feel like you've given up on them. Like you no longer see them as someone that could present you with something stable. So they're definitely still thinking about you, but they're also feeling not so confident. And what do we have for this break is hard for me? I'm going to clarify this card. Um, this break is hard for me. Why is this break hard for them? Let's see. Well, for one, they're going through a tower moment right now. So things aren't really too good right now. The temperance in reverse, the five of wands in reverse and a chariot. See, yeah. Your person is saying this break is hard for me because this is someone who is emotionally drained or they're not in alignment with themselves. This temperance in reverse is them losing patience, just losing themselves, feeling like they're going crazy, right? They don't feel in control of themselves anymore. They feel lost. And your person, the five of wands of verse, they're trying to overcome these challenges or trying to overcome um, all the, the hurt that they caused you. This is them trying to get out of their head. And a lot of you guys are trying to move forward. This break is hard for them. They really want to come towards you. They really want to move forward forward and have some kind of victory here with you and so they're saying this break is hard for me I really want to come back um, but right now I don't even feel myself I feel lost I know I've made bad decisions and I don't even know how to get back on the right path five of wands I, I'm just I'm a, I'm a hot mess okay so that's what I'm seeing for you guys um, I'm gonna get a few other um, cards to clarify this was a little different let me know how you feel about this um i'm gonna maybe do this once in a while for you guys where i just pull a few oracle cards and then i will clarify all right let's see any other messages we have for help me love you better help me love you better why is help me love you better here yeah so, yeah, a lot of you guys, they're afraid, okay? We got um, the Four Swords in verse with the Knight of Pentacles in verse. They're really afraid. This is someone who's really stressed because they know they lost out on an opportunity to give you what you need, right? When perhaps you were ready to love them, they weren't ready because they were taking their slow time. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse, this is someone who was not actively coming towards you right? They were just sitting on their butt. They were fooling around. They were being um, deceptive, a magician in verse. They were being a, a trickster. They were cutting you off. They were running away, run a chaser type of energy, right? The king of swords in verse. This is someone who wasn't ready to acknowledge what this connection was. So that's why they're saying, love me better. I don't help me love you better, right? <laughs> please wait for me. What else do we need to know about the please wait for me card? Queen of Pentacles in reverse, the Three of Swords in reverse. Some of you guys, they're going back and forth. Two of Pentacles, okay? Going back and forth. Should I come in? Should I not? Because this is someone, again, the Queen of Pentacles, they see you as someone who was very committed, very loyal. They see you as someone they saw a future with, but they broke your heart, right? They passed you up. They weren't ready to give you the love and loyalty you needed because they were very guarded. They could have been messing around with a third party. So there is an energy of them, should I or should I not? Should I come in or should I not? This is someone who's definitely dancing around, um, wanting to reveal something wanting to come in but they're kind of just like I'm not ready yet so please wait for me so they're kind of literally stuck a lot of you guys they may also um 
maybe saying, I want to uh, wait for you, Aries, to heal from something here that I've caused pain. Okay, three of swords. They want you to heal before they come in. You occupy every thought. What is this about for Aries person? Yeah, two of wands. Look at that. Queen of cups with the nine of cups in verse. This is, um, again, nine of cups. You are in their thoughts and their dreams. They're fantasizing about you. They can't get you off their mind, okay? You are all in their head right now. And they're really unhappy because they see you as someone who really just fulfilled them. You, there was a lot of good, happy thoughts. But now they're feeling emotionally drained because they're thinking about all the love that you gave them. That queen of cups energy. You are... You were very giving and um, passionate and, and just um, you empathize with them. You supported them. You were patient, kind, and understanding. And they miss that, right? And so a lot of you guys, your person is trying to get unstuck, okay? With the two of wands in verse, they're trying to come towards you, but they're a little bit indecisive and unsure, okay? Doubts here. So this break is hard for me. Let's get the last cards to clarify. This break is hard for me. Yeah, look at that. Because look at look what they see. That they see you with the four wands and a ten of cups. So this break is hard because they feel like they're missing out on this this happy home, happy family, a union and engagement with you. They're missing out on the holidays, the memories, coming together, being a family one day. The ten of cups. They're missing out on this, and that's what they want. They want to come towards you so bad, but the temperance in verse, they feel like they're not where they need to be. Right? They're not in line with themselves. They're a hot mess right now. They're emotionally drained and just very confused. So they do want to come to you. This break is very hard for them. Um, so that is what I'm seeing for, for you guys, Aries. Let me know if this resonates. Your extended How Does Your Person Feel is up on Vimeo for May 10th through the 20th. So check it out if you're interested. And let me know what you think about this spread. This is like the first reading that I did the spread with. I literally just made it up, y'all. <laughs> All right. So where I just pick a few Oracle cards and I clarify them. All right. So Aries, you guys have a great remainder of your weekend. Sending you lots of love. Take care.